Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In our previous video, we discussed about business unit and security rules and how you can apply them to users. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how you can apply the security rules to the teams. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now it is possible to group a number of users into a team who belong to the same or different business units and then you can assign the security rules to the team. So for example, if the organization where the number of users is more, say 100 or 200, and you want to assign security rules to all the users part of the sales team, in that case, instead of assigning security role to an individual user, you can assign roles to a team, uh, say the sales team instead, where all the related users are part of that team. So automatically all the security rules that you assign to the team is inherited by the users within that team. A team is associated with the business unit, just like users and security roles are associated with the business unit. So a team is also associated with the business unit. Now security roles can be assigned to a team as we said, and the least restrictive access level and privileges are applicable in case you have more than one security role applied to a team. So in that case, the least restrictive access level that is more freedom will be applied within the access level and privileges for that team. So for example, if a user has a security role assigned and also the team is assigned a security role user is a part of, so let's say, uh, in this user security role, he has a read permission for accounts record. And in the team security role, you have uh, assigned create permission for account record. So in that case, the effective permission would be create. That would be the end result. When you create a new user uh, in Office 365 and the user is now available in Dynamics 365, you do not need to provide a security role to a user if he's already uh, a part of a team which already has a security role. So all those um, uh, security roles which you assign to the team are inherited by the users. All right, so let's check into our CRM and click on settings, security, and over here we will have an option called teams. Click on teams and you can see that since this is a demo environment, we have a demo team available over here, but let's just go ahead, click on new to create a new team and let's give it a new name. Let's say we want our sales team available. And then we have a business unit associated with it. This is the root business unit associated. You can go ahead and select the hierarchy of the business unit that you want to associate this team to. And then you can have um, administrator associated with this team. Uh, I will just mention the system administrator, which is the current logged in user over here. And you can also provide a description. Now, once you have created this, you need to save so that the changes are committed to the system. And now we have the sales TQ sales team available. And you will notice that now the system allows you to add the team members to this team. So we can go ahead and add uh, new team members. We had created a sample user before as uh, quantum, and then we can add some more team members over here so and so forth you can just go ahead and uh, associate the team members which will be part of this team once that is done now you can assign the security roles to the team and those security roles or permissions and privileges will be inherited by the users in associated with this team so for that you need to click on manage roles and go ahead and provide uh, a relevant uh, security role or associate various security roles that you want to assign to the sales team. Let's say Sharudo for example and click on OK. So what has actually happened is these users might have their own security roles associated but they have also now inherited the Sharudo security role uh, since they are part of this team. So you can try various combinations over here. Now it's not necessary that you assign security roles to these individual users, but you can associate them to a team and then assign security roles to the team. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself and test it out with different combinations of security roles and see how the users can access the system. Go ahead and enjoy. 